If your flux laser cutter has not been cutting through material all the way with the default settings, you may need to do an optical path alignment. This video is brought to you by Ultimate 3D Printing Store. To start off on the touchscreen, click the maintain button and watch as your laser head home to the top left corner. Then, click the motors button in order to free up the motor so that you can manually move around the laser head. Once you have tested this, put the laser head back in the top left corner and pull out the tape that came with the flux laser cutter. On the left side of the workspace, you will notice a mirror. This mirror is used to reflect the laser beam and therefore uh, impacts the optical path alignment. Take a piece of tape and put it at a 45 degree angle in reference to the mirror and make sure it is placed as shown. Close the lid and on the touchscreen, click laser pulse. You will notice a flash of light as the pulse comes out. Open up the lid and move the laser head down to the bottom left hand corner. Before clicking laser pulse this time, take note of where the first mark is. This will be our reference mark. Close the lid and click laser pulse once more. A second mark will appear. You want the marks to be overlapping or in the exact same place, as in this scenario. If they are not in the same place, continue watching this part of the video. But if they are already aligned as shown here, then you can skip right to this time in the video. So if your marks are in different places as shown here, the first mark is from the right and the second mark is on the left. You want the second mark to move in the same place as the right. So you will need to adjust the first reflecting mirror in order to adjust the laser beam's direction. Remove these six screws on the back side and then remove the lid. On the right side in the back, you will notice the first reflecting mirror as indicated in the diagram. It has three brass knobs which help direct the laser beam onto the tape or mirror as we showed before. So the first dot is shown here, and let's say the new dot is in the top left. We want them to be in the same place, so the second mark needs to move in the same place as the first mark. We can do this by adjusting the first reflecting mirror. So if we need our second mark to move down and to the right, we would adjust using the golden arrow and the knob with the golden arrow showing it clockwise. So what I mean is if you need to move your dot up, you'd use the red arrow or left, use the green arrow and find the corresponding knob and rotate it clockwise. So in this case, we'll be rotating the top left knob clockwise in order to bring the second mark down and to the right. You may need to use vice grips or thread lock remover in order to turn these knobs as shown. After adjusting the knob, close the lid and click laser pulse to see where the new mark is. This new mark is a little bit closer, but still not all the way aligned, so we adjust the knobs even more, close the lid, click laser pulse. This time, the two dots are aligned, which is what we want, and this mirror is optically path aligned. Put on the back lid and then remove the old piece of tape. On the laser head, you will notice an indented circle, which we will need to put a new piece of tape over. Make sure this piece of tape completely covers the circle. Move the laser head to the middle left positioning as shown. Close the lid and click laser pulse in order to mark the tape. Now, move the laser head directly right and then take note of where the first marking is. Close the lid and click laser pulse to get a second mark. We want these to be overlapping or aligned as well. If yours is already aligned and overlapping, skip to this time in the video. But if not, you'll need to adjust one of the three brass knobs shown here on the left side of the workspace. So if our first dot was here, then our second dot was here, we will need to move the second dot in order to align it with the first one, according to this diagram. So we will need to follow, for this scenario, the green arrow in order to move the dot left, and then move the bottom right knob because it also shows the green arrow. Keep on doing this and clicking laser pulse until the two dots are aligned. Now put a new piece of tape on the bottom side and press upwards against the laser nozzle. Close the lid and click laser pulse. You may not see anything from the outside, but after removing it, you will see a new dot has appeared. There is also the indentation from pressing upwards of the laser head circle. You want this dot to be in the very center of the circle as indicated by the theoretical red dot. So we needed to move our actual dot down in order to move it in the very center. 
you can adjust the dot direction by moving one of the three brass knobs shown here, according to this diagram. So if we need to move our dot down, we would use the red arrow. If we needed to do it left, we'd use the green arrow, and so on. And you'd also need to adjust the brass knob clockwise in order to go in the right direction. After doing this, test a new piece of tape on the dot and make sure it is in the very center of the indented circle. Once you've done this, you are done. Thank you for watching from ultimate3dprintingstore.com.